Check this out, my favorite kind of stripper, a corn stripper, not. Uh, anyway, so <laughs> here, this is actually really cool because I love corn. I go nuts for corn. I usually have cans of corn in my pantry, but um, I don't always eat corn on the cob. And when I do get corn on the cob, I'm the one in the restaurant that sticks a fork in it, puts it on the plate, and just cuts down all the kernels off of it. But this supposedly makes that much easier. So let's unwrap this. This wrapper was just covering it. Came straight, oh, <sighs> dropping things. Now this corn, I just finished cooking it literally, so it is pretty hot, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it my best shot. Apparently, all you do is take this, yeah, that is hot, and you stick it into here with the blades facing out. So just stick it right there. And then apparently, you just push it through. I've never done this, let's see. So as I push it through the stripper, Ow, be careful. <laughs> I didn't realize how far I was pushing. Do that, and it's as easy as that. Corn is completely stripped. This just has some extra corn kernels in it. Yeah, be careful of those blades. I didn't even realize as I pushed through, my hands were gonna hit them. But, all in all, look at that. That is so easy, it is still steaming hot. That is burning my fingers as I'm still holding it. Clearly, I'm not the brightest. But honestly, that was so freaking easy. I can't even believe that. Look at this. this. These are perfect. I think every kitchen should have one of these. Well, especially if you like corn. If you like corn, this is a gadget you should definitely have. And to make things even easier, this is dishwasher safe on the top rack. When you barbecue with your family, put this on the table. Everyone, some people like to eat it on the cob, some people push it through. That way you don't have to prep it one way or the other. You have an option literally with just this, push it through, maybe put like a paper towel between your hand and the corn so even when you hit the blades, you uh, use a paper towel so that you don't hit yourself on it. They aren't like super sharp. So like I'm touching them now, it's not like knives. It just kind of scared me when I, when I pushed my hand out. So maybe put a paper towel and then you won't have that issue. But other than that, I don't think I've used an easier, I mean that was way quicker than the whole fork on the corn knife thing where like where you held it like this and cut them all down. This made it so much easier and you could tell how well it does. Like look, this piece is still completely intact here. It's just corn kernels. These just break apart. Like it's nothing. Honestly, that worked way better than I thought it would. I say, check it out.